Hey guys, welcome back to MLB 22, the show Red Sox Franchise Mo. And today we'll be looking at the first news right here. Rafael Devers has sustained an injury, a lower back pain, which means he'll be going down to the 15 days IL, which means I'll be calling up Jaron During at this point. Well, a pretty good outfielder, even though last year he didn't really perform very well in the major league levels. And at the same time, it would be great to actually, um, you know, platooning. Uh, the right field area with Jackie Bradley Jr. Because right there, before sending uh, Rafael Devers uh, to the IL, you only have four outfielders technically. But you know what? Excluding J.D. Martinez. And of course, he could be a defensive liability uh, in terms of playing left field and right field. His reaction and also his speed are not as good as the other guys, of course. But we still need to use him at some point. So every time when I have a left hand uh, facing against a left-handed pitcher, I'll be tend to use J JDJ uh, uh, JD Martinez on the right uh, right field and putting Jackie Bradley Jr. back on the bench, which means uh, a Royal will be playing as a DH. But honestly, I know that in real life that a Royal has kind of converted to a right fielder and probably I should do that in the game as well. So it, it provides a little bit more depth into the team. But at this point, um, you know what? Jaron Duran, don't know if he's going to get a chance because think about it, like Devers going to be out for maybe a few days, less than 10 days. But based on the scheduling that we have, I'm not sure if we are going to get to him when it comes to like uh, guys are getting tired and uh, we're putting him on. Not Probably not going to be the case. But anyway, today we'll be playing the first game of this three-game series against New York Yankees. You guys know that uh, we didn't really win the uh, we didn't really win the game uh, in the first game of the season against the Yankees in real life. Well, they've Jericho, but it turns out it was James Talion or, or Talon. I think that's how you pronounce his name. And of course, right there, we scored first from bases loaded with no outs. Shaw, Travis Shaw uh, comes on actually replacing Rafael Devers as an everyday or day to day uh, third baseman for now. And meanwhile, uh, right there, uh, Jackie Bradley Jr. just hits a double just as I was kind of doubting his skills. And he puts a double right there and 2 0 for the Red Sox. 3 1 count to Kike Hernandez and a guest pitch right there, knowing the ball is pretty high. No point of me swinging, try to get a get a homer. And Bobby Dahlbeck scores from third and still bases loaded right here. Travers Stories coming on right here, and a hanging slider could have you know swung swung a little bit earlier, or else it would have been a sweet grand slam. But anyway, I will still take that run right there for nothing already in the second inning, and that's pretty much set for now. And here comes Evaldi on the mound, back on the mound for today. Our second starter, second ace in the team, striking out um, uh, Josh Donaldson right there for the first out. And Anthony Rizzo goes down on strike, check swing right there. He didn't think so. He hesitated, he hesitated just a slightly bit, and you guys can probably see that. And Patawa the third right here, 2-2 two -two count. Jameson uh, Talon just strike out, uh, Raf uh, not Devers, but... Center Bogarts and Travis Shaw just hits a slow ground into second base to end the top of the third. And moving on to the bottom of the third right here. 0-2 count to Joey Gallo. Strike out with a curveball inside. Very good filthy pitch right there. Third K with Nathan Navaldi. 1-2 count to Ben. Don't know how to don't know the guy's last name, but he will hit that ground ball to third base. Another 1-2-3 inning by Nathan Navaldi. And Trevor Story slaps that one to, to left field. Again, every t I, I feel like we scored quite a lot of runs recently or in the team, but the fact that we are barely hitting any home runs kind of troubles, uh, troubles me a little bit because, again, compared to the last season, I believe, or the last series that I did with the Red Sox, I'm pretty sure I score or hit quite a lot of home runs back then, but right now, just the bats just aren't coming in. Yes, we've been scoring quite a lot of runs, but... Um, but of course, the home run can always be an issue, which shows that we have a lack of uh, lack, you know, lack of power in the team. Michael King coming on for uh, Talon right there uh, to replace him in the uh, fifth inning, and Travis Shaw unfortunately hits a very soft grounder to shortstop, and in the end, it was very close play at first to end the inning. T bottom of the entering Risso goes down on strike, strikeout low King. Not quite sure if that was a strike. Either 6K for Nathan Navaldi, looking very good. 2 2 count to Glaber Torres, grounds that one to, sh to second base. Newly converted, uh, short, uh, newly converted second baseman Trevor Story, and he goes down on strike right there. He has been quite all right with the team so far, but I think he could have done better in terms of his power. And again, another 1 2 3 inning 
by Nathan Valdi, Jolie Rodriguez gonna come on. And you know what? The majority of the bullpen right there for the Yankees, I don't really know them compared to last season. I believe they traded a few guys out or cutting a few players compared to last year. And of course, I didn't even know Gary Sanchez and I believe Ursella got traded to Twins because I felt like, oh wow, who's playing thir third base right now? Turns out it was DJ LeMahieu now and and somebody's playing second base didn't really keep up with them but right there dj lomay who struck out right there 7k and the 8k right here aaron judge goes down on strike swung that one pretty late and sack britain coming on right there again i did talk about sack britain every time he is probably one of the most intimidating uh, pitcher that i probably hate to face to be honest in terms of a lefty lefty uh situation and here comes kevin powaki 0-1 count or 0-0 count and uh ooh, bobble by the second baseman but good recovery doesn't have good speed for kevin kapawaki but that's how the top of the eighth ends and gilabri torres grounds that one to second base and another one two three inning by nathan valdi i believe that was his probably fourth or fifth one two three innings in a row and jonathan loasiga is going to come on right here to pitch the last half of the inning 2-2 two -two count to trevor story and he strike out for the second time today with a strikeout looking slider inside the zone no doubt that is a uh, that is a uh, strikeout jd martinez strikes out with the slurve oh my god that was very embarrassing could have just could have just hammered that one and a one two count to sander bogars goes down on the strike with the same pitch again the slurve right there to end the top of the ninth and then here comes Ivaldi again Another one, two, three inning. That's six of them, I believe. And that's how we win the game. Four nothing. A one hit shutout by Nathan Navaldi. And that was a pretty close to a no hitter, to be honest. And honestly, if that happened, I'll be really happy. Actually, I don't know if he actually uh, gave up a single walk. But you know what? This is quite an insane scene because the fact that we are. We are seven games. We won seven games in a row. Four nothing in the end. It was the score, and of course, yeah, right there. It could have been a no. It could have been a perfect game if he didn't give up that single or double, whatever you call. And uh, yeah, he pitched nine innings, played the game for sure, striking out eight people. And Jameson uh, Telwan's gonna take the L without couldn't really get through five innings, but. The second second inning, that what it count. That's the only inning that we actually score, but that's enough to actually win the ball game. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We take game one of this three game series. Hope you guys enjoy. Um, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in a bit.